What's up guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about three portrait mistakes that I was making as a portrait photographer. And if anything, these were just bad habits that I was doing over and over again. And as soon as I shifted my mindset, I started to see improvements in my portraits. Let's go ahead and cover todo el pedo. First on the list is using soft light only. And for the longest time, I had this bad perception of hard light thinking that it had no place in my portrait photography. And it wasn't until I had this great conversation with a photographer that I admire, Jake Hicks, and he told me something I'll never forget, which was my grandmother can take a great portrait with soft light, but give me a photographer that can use hard light and that's gonna show me their true skills because when you're using hard light, it's very harsh and you have to be very precise with your lighting placement your pose, and it's not as flattering and easy to use as soft light, because don't get me wrong, I can get a seven foot umbrella, place it there, and the model might be off with the pose a little bit, but the lighting's still gonna look flattering. Hard light, it's a whole different ball game, and it's opened up the avenue to so many creative possibilities. And I'm gonna be honest, when he told me that, you know, it did hurt my ego a little bit. It's almost like he got this knife and stabbed me in my heart, because, you know, all my work at that point was soft light. I wasn't really open to hard light, but it forced me to get out of my comfort zone. And I like when photographers, especially photographers that I respect, give me honest feedback like that because I don't wanna be in this fixed mindset approach where, oh, I'm only gonna use soft light, this is my style, and this is the only way I'm gonna see things. I'm always about learning different types of techniques. And so lately, if you've seen my work, you'll see that I've been incorporating an optical spot in my work so that I can practice with hard light. And I'm a big believer of the philosophy, get comfortable being uncomfortable because of course I could have stayed in the safe route just using soft light only, but by adding this other creative option into my toolbox has made my work more diverse. Next on the list is shooting golden hour portraits only. And for the longest time, I never really shot during the middle of the day, you know, mainly because I was scared of the harsh light that we were gonna be getting at that point. But I knew that I had to practice and get my reps in shooting in the middle of the day. And my friend, Danny Batista, another photographer that I admire, you know, he would always kind of tease me and say, hey, light man, you're always shooting during golden hour, man. I would like to see you try a couple of different things outside of just shooting golden hour all the time. And, and I'm glad he told me that because over the past year or two, I've been asked to teach workshops and events and when these dealers like Dodd Camera or PCU, or even when I shot with Westcott this past summer in Ohio, all of these events when I'm teaching are all in the middle of the day. It's not like I can tell them, hey guys, I'm only a golden hour photographer, I can't shoot. And so in order for me to get accustomed to shooting during the middle of the day, obviously I gotta practice, right? Practice makes perfect. And so I had been setting up shoots, getting those, that practice in, and, what I've noticed is I started to see new possibilities, seeing possibilities of getting these interesting shadows on the ground that you typically wouldn't get during golden hour. And another thing that stood out as I started shooting more midday shoots is, I don't know what you guys think, leave me a comment in the comment section if you think this is true, but I feel like shooting off camera flash blends a little bit better during in the middle of the day because it's so much brighter when you do golden hour and you're trying to expose for that background sky, basically all the background turns into silhouette and it looks a little bit flashy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Some of my all time favorite photographs have been with that silhouette and golden hour. But if you're looking for natural results, and of course, if you can shoot in the middle of the day, cause I know like here in Texas, it's freaking hot, right? It's like summertime still here and it's only getting hotter. But when possible, I like to, you know, mix it up and try to see things from a different lens. And number three has to be my limiting mindset on using bocalicious lenses. Now, of course, you gotta love your prime lenses, right? Your 1.2, your 1.4s, and even your 1.8s. But as I've been shooting in the studio, one of the lenses that's my go-to lens that never comes off is the Canon 24 to 105 f4. And, you know, going in the studio, it's a whole different mindset as far as how you use the aperture, at least in my work. I find myself using f7.1, f11 at times, even f5.6. And I had to train my brain that, you know, I can't just use bokeh 
to blur out the compositional flaws that are visible in the photograph. And it was a huge wake up call. As soon as I got into the studio, I was like, damn, everything's in focus. And now I had to be more strategic where the props were gonna be placed, how the subject was gonna be posed, and even the angles that I was shooting. And so after being able to work with higher aperture numbers, working with hard light, but also not shooting golden hour all the time, it's really expanded my work. At least that's the way I feel because I always want to be, you know, trying to get better. And really the main way of doing that is working on the weaknesses as scary as that might seem, right? Because we all get into our comfort zone. We want to stay with what we know we're good at. And I think the moral of this kind of whole video is not being afraid to, to fail uh, because when you do try to incorporate new things in your work, we're not used to failure anymore because we were so comfortable with what our old approach and methods were. And so if you try to incorporate some of these things, just kind of have an open mind and know that you're gonna fail, but embrace that failure because after every photo shoot, and me and my friend, I, I tell this to my friend Marco all the time, is after every photo shoot, we might not get a great shot or a great photograph but we know that it's going to help our growth and at some point it's going to peak and you're going to start seeing that growth and people are going to be like, oh my gosh, like you came up with this out of nowhere and to be honest, it's just all these failures that slowly stack up to finally getting us where we eventually want to be. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what are your, some of your strengths and maybe what are some of the weaknesses that you know that you need to work on, but we're just too afraid to experiment. So you guys have a beautiful day and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.